I've arrived at Dalmarnock and I'm just going down to fish the ram's horn. It's a wee bit slidey, the wee bit of rain fell last night, the river's up about a foot from yesterday. So hopefully it'll entice fish to run up the, the sides. Definitely won't be able to cast to the other side today. It's running a wee bit too high for that. I think it's running about four foot and a bit above summer level. But it's clear enough. I'll just get in here, Alan's down a wee bit. And Mike's down below that at the bridge. So we're going to work our way around and Michael will come back up and follow me down. Just got an, an orange fly with a cone head. I haven't put up a big rod because the river's that big it's pointless fishing all the way across the, the far side. It, just got my 12 foot 9 and a skadget and a 15 foot tip. Pop it out quite far and see how I get on. Alan's getting a good line out. Mike was having a shot of spinning, but uh, I see he's on the fly and coming down behind me. So I'll just go back in here.
Excuse me. I think I'll maybe have to get out here. The current picks up a wee bit and it begins to get a bit rockier down the side and deeper. So be as well trying to get out here and let's fish off the bank again. Well, all I've caught so far is a wee trout, but uh, there's got to be something bigger in here. They're definitely hiding though. running out of bank in here I think uh, it's lunch time anyway so I think I'll just sort, go and get my lunch and try harder in the afternoon back up to the car, it'll warm me up. It's, even although it's a bit milder than it has been, it's still a bit chilly. Ah oh, well, you've won a, a new one. one. No. Nah. I nah. got a feel in the first 10 minutes. Did you? I just when you were standing talking just a bit. Oh dear. Right, and about 8 foot to the side, to the, to the bank. Right. Just came round. Just it was coming to the end of its swing, felt it pull. Yeah, just let it take a, take a turn off the deal and then it just, it wasn't taking any more and I just lifted it. it was, was no idea. Uh, first 10 minutes ago. <laughs> just with that cluster of, that cluster of the, the snowdrops of the wee white flower. Yeah, yeah. I must have just moved to there, I was further up obviously, but it came around and there was a bit there. No idea. I've come to the top of the beat for the afternoon session. The river's risen a wee bit and I'll not be able to take the car down to the, the bottom of the beat because the river's still rising and it'll be uh, silly to take the car away down here. Supposed to start off at the second Troy if I can find it. I've changed my fly, put in a larger one. It's quite a heavier tip that's on the the end of the front so hopefully I can make it dance a bit in the water it's quite a lump to try casting with it and it does go in with a plop so need to wait and see if it's going to work harder than the lighter one
and I've decided to change my fly, put on something completely different. It's got uh, a couple of big bulging eyes. I suppose it's a honeybee being special of sorts. I'm going to give it a swim. The orange fly's not doing very well. I think I'll maybe change my tip and put on something heavier just for the last wee while uh -huh. There's a whole lot to your left further on Okay, last week. 100%. Mm -hmm. 100%. Right. Right. You want to? I'll just stick the spinner through it and then. Right. And then I'll go up to the. Right, I'll, I'll change my tip and then come and have a wee shot. Right, good on. Cheers. I've gone back to my orange and black fly. It's uh, quite deep here. And the river's still rising. So I have a quick shot with my heavy sinking line and my heavy fly and tired myself out. It really is a fast sinking line to could have problems lifting this one off the water. The breeze has definitely picked up a wee bit, making casting even more difficult. I heard a splash, but I didn't see what, where it came from. Yeah, I think I'll make this the last cast. I don't think my back will stand much more, even the heavy lines about. I'll watch on for the last wee while, I think. No, no. No, I've finished. I just thought I'd come down and watch an expert at work. 
wind that in. I first got up here the other day, the size of the blade on it. She tried to wind that in. Mm. Almost impossible what I did. It's quite, it, on the grip. It's quite large, isn't it? Yeah, imagine the water level might be up. Aye, I think it is. We, we caused the sub. I subbed. Aye, but. The puddle was playing. Not looking about the open here. Aye, that's right. So maybe, unless it was here. <laughs> no, because that, that, that grassy knoll's yeah, away covered from the. The lure to you, eh? Did you? On the bottom, yeah. Oh, right, is I got that caught in the grass? And I had, I had light nylon on. I got caught in the bottom a few times with this. Right. It was just up where the bank projected out under the surface. Aye. It just gets caught in the grass, and of course, once it's in the grass, there's no way it's ever coming out again. Aye. Yeah. Somebody else will find it. Okay. I bet you've found a few that way. Oh, yeah. Most of my stuff. <laughs> uh huh. Most of my stuff. 